What's up guys? I know it's been a long time since I've posted, but I've been going through a lot of things. Um, you'll find out later. I'm starting a vlog about what's been going on behind the scenes in my life. So that'll be uh, coming out. I'm not sure when, but it's in the works right now. But for now, guys, I wanted to give you some content. I wanted to take you along to Trader Joe's with me and do a little haul, a little grocery haul, show you what I'm getting, how I've been changing my diet a little bit. Um, I have a whole new branding for my website as well, pagewellness.com. It's for health and wellness coaching, so that's been going on behind the scenes too. So yeah, uh, come along, do some grocery shopping with me today. It's a beautiful day and I will show you what I got. Let's get to it. Okay guys, so I just left Trader Joe's and I got a couple things that I'm gonna try right now. Coconut water and an acerola cherry shot. So I really love the acerola cherry shots. I've had these before. Um, usually I get them from Whole Foods, but I don't think I've had this one from Trader Joe's. It's just acerola cherry, 100% acerola cherry, Trader Joe's organic coconut water not from concentrate so it looks really good it's pink in color um it looks fresh hydrating yeah i'm gonna try these out and then i got the little hole in the back that i'll show you when i get home and i can unload it when i get home so yeah let's try this coconut water mm. that is really good that's not like the cardboard ones that you get in the containers that tastes a little like, you know, they have like a little acidic taste to it. This, mm. oh my gosh, very, very good, very refreshing. Okay, now for the shot. Bottoms up. As I spill it all over the place. Every time I drink something, you know it's just going down my chin. Every single time. That was good. All right, guys, heading home to unpack, and I will catch you soon. Okay, so we are back from Trader Joe's, and we also stopped at Earth Fair 2 and got bigger than a mini haul, because it was supposed to be a mini haul, but I basically did a whole shopping. So let me show you what I got. Starting off with the produce, carrots, bananas, limes, shallots, some fresh parsley, avocados, some frozen carrots, put on a sheet pan, Brussels sprouts, blueberries. This right here is an awesome brand of creamer. I wanted some coffee creamer for this delicious looking cold brew that I got. Almond milk, no gums, no fillers. A couple shots, a couple wellness shots. Peanut butter organic, Primal Kitchen dressing, Love this brand. This was new. I haven't tried it before, but there's, I believe, only six grams of sugar in a serving, and it's from Organic Agave. They add cassava, and they add chamomile. So I wanted to try and have this at night as like a relaxing before bedtime snack. Some chicken soup, black olives, this looked really good, the grass-fed beef sirloin. It's already cooked for a quick and easy meal. Cauliflower slim. You can make sandwiches, tacos, pizzas with these. And here's some meat. Breakfast sausage, organic ground turkey. Organic grilled chicken breast. These are my favorite protein bars. They're not the greatest for you, but there's no added sugar. 15 grams of protein. I think they have like something in there that I don't like. I forget what it is. Sucralose. That's what it is. But everything else is pretty good for a high protein snack. Doing a lot of bone broth lately. Um, really good. Really good for your gut health, for immune health, collagen. Um, some peanut butter cups. Yeah, so that was my haul for the week, guys. And I'm sure there'll be things throughout the week that I'll need for a recipe or want. Um, like I said, there's not specific things I get throughout the week. I mean, fruit, vegetables, always. 
is a staple and meat is always a staple. But um, I like trying new things, venturing out and trying new brands. I think I forgot to show you guys this lip balm, cocoa butter lip balm. The ingredients were pretty good on it. So I wanted to try it out. A lot of natural essential oils and stuff like that. Even extra virgin olive oil in there, which is awesome. And it's cool mint. All in all combined, probably $130, $140. Not bad at all. And will most likely get me and my boyfriend through the week. Now it's time for the fun part. It is time to put all of it away and decide what I'm having for lunch. So catch you guys in the next video and go down below for my new link to my new website. If you have questions, um, want to lose weight, want to be healthier, eat healthier, just learn how to be healthier, reach out to me. I take text messages, emails, phone calls, anything. So yeah, have a great rest of your week guys and I will talk to you soon. Okay, so here we are, trying it out. The flavor, I think I forgot to mention, it's cookie dough. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. This looks amazing. Mm hmm Wow. This exceeded my expectations. This company is amazing, but they really outdid it with this. Literally tastes like raw cookie dough mixed with the best fudge bar you've ever had in your life. Let's check out the ingredients. Okay, so chocolate cocoa butter, coconut sugar, fava bean protein. Wow, okay. Olive oil, organic Jerusalem artichoke powder, carob maple syrup, apple juice, tapioca coconut sugar, cashew butter, molasses. Look at these quality ingredients. One square, 170, 13 grams of fat, 11 grams of carbs, four grams of fiber, and six grams of protein, and only five grams of sugar. This is probably my new favorite midday chocolate bar. That will satisfy the sweet craving. Jeez, delicious guys. Figure out where they are and go get your hands on this and let me know what you think.